What's up guys, it's Awana Turtle. Um, so this is just going to be a quick message because I just recorded the first part of Savage Strike uh, Booster Box 2 and when I was done it occurred to me that my mic was muted the entire time so I was lacking an intro. Um, yeah, whenever you're recording, uh, make sure all your stuff is not muted. Um, but uh, so just to hit a couple things real quick. So we are getting to our second box um, The first box was absolute fire. So if you haven't seen those videos definitely go check it out We got one of the monster hits uh, in the savage strike set. So really happy about that um, And uh, yeah, enjoy the video. Thanks guys So how our expansion from uh, Pokemon magic and then branching into Yu-Gi-Oh has been going so far um, Really excited. We got some new stuff coming in uh, the speed dual um, set that will be released at the end of the month and then a little bit earlier than that uh, the infinite chaser set so yeah really happy to be back into Yu-Gi-Oh and let's jump into our second box so we're gonna start on the right side again open up 12 packs see if we can again so for the rare side we're going for that Solomon Great uh, and then for the secret rare there's a bunch of stuff that we can hit uh, the Solomon Great Savage Sunlight Wolf and then for the secret rare, Pot of Extravagance or Fantastical Dragon Phantasme, of course. Alright. Alright, and I do still like to look at some of the arts. Uh, we'll, we'll go through them kind of fast. Oh my gosh, right off the bat. Secret rare, Psychic Wielder. Um, it's like maybe the fourth best card you can get in the set. All right, that's a very strong start. Although potentially a little anticlimactic. Um, seems like usually one side gets a one secret. <laughs> Throws the hitter right off the bat. Um, I'm not. A, I feel like I've. I'm not sure if I've ever seen people get like two secret rares off one side of the box. But uh, I'm sure it's possible. All right, let's see what we got. Prank kids. Oh, that's pretty cool. And then a Sharanui Spectral Sword Shade, followed by a Lapis Dragon. And let's just see if there's anything else. Okay. Okay. So I hope everyone's having a good day. Um, uh. And how have your polls been on Savage Strike? And are you excited for the new stuff? Let me know. Uh, and can't say Thunderclap Monk. Got a couple of those last time. If there's anything in particular that I should be looking out for in the upcoming the Speed Duel set, which uh, sounds kind of weird, but then the um, Infinite Chasers, uh, I feel I feel like I heard some speculation that this next set is supposed to be huge. Um, but I can't say, I, I don't really know anything about as far as like spoilers go, as far as why that is the case. So if you happen to know, let me know in the comments below. Definitely still getting back into it and uh, don't really have my way around, know my way around just yet. Most time. And then what we got? TG Star Guardian for one of our ultra rares. Alright. Then a Rocket Synchro. The ultra rare that we're really going for would be that Borolo Savage Dragon. That's one thing about like the um, Yu-Gi-Oh when it comes to like creating like different cool mechs. I feel like Yu-Gi-Oh uh, is kind of like top tier when it comes to that kind of stuff. Especially when it comes to dragons, they're very creative. Guard Dragon Agrippin. Followed by TG Screw Serpent. I'm not sure, if, I don't know too much about this TG archetype, so I'll have to look into a little bit of that. Alright, so we're moving through pretty quick. But we already did get that secret rare and it was a good one, so really happy about that. Alright. So now that we are getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm considering trying to look at some of the um, Shirinui Squire. The Ooh, there we go, Solomon Great Sunlight Wolf. I feel like, well, it's seeming like you get one per box. I wonder if you can get multiple. Uh, some of the graded cards. And I feel like I'm very incentive or very motivated to do so, just to 
kind of bring uh, has that huge nostalgic factor uh, to kind of get some graded cards of the ones I grew up with playing uh, back when Yu-Gi-Oh first came out. I'm talking like uh, I wasn't really into, uh, didn't get into it right away, so I was a little bit behind. So it was like when the Metal Raiders set, which was the second set, so it's pretty close. Then Magic, uh, you know, like Magic Ruler and stuff like that. All right, we got Elemental Hero Brave Neil's thing. I believe I pulled that last time as well. But yeah, so when it comes to some of that old Blue Eyes stuff for Metal Raiders, um, maybe I'll jump into looking into getting some of those for PSA graded cards. And as far as I can tell, just from watching some other YouTube channels, like, I feel like it's not the most difficult thing. Like, PSA 10 first editions, maybe not, but um, they're not as bad as far as, like, the vintage uh, Pokemon or Magic, which is super expensive. Alright, we got a Fateful Hour for our Super Rare, followed by Fusion of Fire. Alright, I feel like we've cooled off quite a bit. But we still got four packs left. Right. This is Elemental Hero Cosmo Neos. Look at that. So cool. Followed by a guard dragon. Is that another, another ultra rare? It was... Oh no, that's a secret rare. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Alright, three packs left. These packs are super easy to open. Especially compared to uh, where people have been watching the team up, team up videos. Like, does anyone else struggle to open those packs? Because I really do. Let's see, we got a Time Thief. And then, World Legacy Guard Dragon. I think this one actually is pretty good. Uh, when I read through that one, that one, to be honest, I did not understand its effect. It was pretty long, and I, it was unclear to me what it did. But man, we're, I feel like we're getting a lot of duplication. I can't remember if we got TG Star Guardian, but all those other three cards were ones that we pulled. Although if we got exact duplication, like I, as weird as that would be, I would be very happy about that. And that's a small hint on what else we pulled in that last uh, last box. And again, if you haven't seen that Pisty, pretty sure we pulled that as well for secret or super rare. Uh, if you haven't seen that or if you're interested, definitely check it out. What is this? It's kind of creepy. All right, guys, we're on our last pack right here for second box of Savage Strike. Let's see what we can do. Not sure if two secret rares per side is a thing, but let's see if we can make it happen. It's gotta be possible, right? Alright, we got that grub. The ship. Share new style. Solemnity. Child's play. And then it's probably right here. Boom! Guard Dragon Ulpi. Followed by a Trickstar. Alright. So, for our hits. Not sure about this TG Star um, Star Dragon, but although some of the oh no Guardian, I thought was like that doesn't look like much of a dragon. Pretty cool. And then for our big hits, we have another Solomon Great Sunlight Wolf, which again I love how there is a very good card in the rare slot that just doesn't happen a lot. We have a World Legacy Guard Dragon. Can't really tell what's going on in this art. And then our big hit, the Psychic Wielder. <laughs> Not sure how to say that, but pretty happy with that poll. All right, guys, there you have it. We're starting our halfway through our second box of Savage Strike. If you did enjoy that content, hit that like button below. Um, and hey, if you if you're new to this channel because of this video or because of the, some of that Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, just have why we do a lot of Pokemon opening as well as some Magic the Gathering. Um, so welcome and and hope you enjoy your stay. Um, other than that, guys, I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.